The very first thing somebody will ask me when I first share this product with them is, what is this? And what I simply tell them is this, it will help detox and cleanse out your system, it will help you lose weight naturally, and it's for your overall health and to prevent future illnesses and diseases. What I'm going to do next is go through some of these powerful plants that are inside this remarkable tea. Now the very first one I'm going to start with is called Holy Thistle. Holy Thistle has been around for a very long time. It's well documented. Um, it's well known for helping with gastric and digestive disorders, uh, chronic pains like migraines and uh, in inflammation of the joints, arthritis, um, and even for women that have really painful menstrual cycles. Uh, Holy Thistle helps with circulation of your blood and just in recent studies doctors have been using Holy Thistle for helping boost the immune system of HIV patients and the results of these studies were incredible. Now ginger is a very well-known root. Uh, at one time or another you've probably eaten ginger especially if you've gone to some um, type of Asian restaurant. Uh, we use ginger in our cooking on a daily basis but a lot of people don't realize the health benefits behind ginger. It's really well known for helping with inflammation of, the, um, of your tissues, uh, helps with nausea, uh, if you have chronic ulcers it will help with that. Um, also uh, one of the other things that ginger does, it helps boost your immune system. So it will help you with fighting against colds and viruses and, and flus that you'll get on a regular basis. I know here in South Korea, a lot of people will eat uh, ginger raw just for that reason. Okay, let's move on to parsimon leaves. Um, right now, parsimon leaves, especially in South Korea, amongst the scientific community is getting a lot of attention right now and, and let me just share with you why. Um, they're finding out that it has 30 times more vitamin C than green tea. Uh, it's very high in uh, magnesium. Uh, it has five times more calcium than uh, a glass of milk. Um, it also has high levels of zinc and a lot more stuff. So they're getting really excited about all the stuff that they're find, finding out. And also one of the new uh, studies shows that uh, it's reducing uh, cancer cells um, in rats that they're doing studies on. So just an incredible tea guys and it's one of those teas that you'll get if you ever go to China, Japan or um, Korea. Okay, let me talk a little bit about myrrh. Now, myrrh has been around for thousands of years. This plant is very well documented because of the variety of the health benefits that it has. Uh, let me just share with you what it's really well known for. Uh, it will help stimulate the circulation to mucosal tissue, uh, especially in your bronchial tract, uh, your throat, tonsils, and your gums. Um, it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's an antioxidant and antimicrobial, I'm making this substance an ideal plant for any types of inflammation or swollen tissue. The next plant I want to talk about is called the blessed thistle, which is a sister plant to the holy thistle and the milk thistle. Uh, now, this plant also has a lot of similar uh, health attributes of those other two plants. Um, but there's one more thing I wanted to add that, um, that will benefit you, is that this plant will help circulate and cleanse out the liver as well as the bloodstream. Okay, let me talk a little bit about papaya. Now, for those of you that don't know what a papaya is, it's a fruit that grows in tropical areas of the world. And one of the places that it's very famous for is in Thailand. And they'll use this not only to eat, but also to use it as medicine for skin disorders. And a lot of people probably didn't know that. Um, I used to use it for my martial arts students that would have rashes or um, athlete's foot or ringworm or shingles or any type of uh, skin disorder and it worked beautifully. Um, it's a, just a wonderful fruit for, you, for your skin. Uh, so the other really big thing like I mentioned just a second ago is that it does kill up to 98% of parasites. Okay, So just a really great uh, fruit. Now let's move over to chamomile. Now chamomile is very famous, especially in America. Um, I remember, you know, my grandmother giving this to me when I had a fever or a cold or a flu. Um, so it will help you with your sore throats and aches and pains that come from uh, the common cold and flu. Okay, so just a really um, relaxing, smooth um, uh, tea. 
Okay, let me just really quickly talk about the marshmallow plant. Uh, the marshmallow plant has over a 2,500 year history and it was really well known in Egypt. Uh, the Egyptians used to eat the root of this um, as a vegetable, uh, especially during the time um, of really bad poverty. And so this was their only source of food at the time. And during that, uh, they found out that this plant had some incredible health benefits. And one of them is that uh, the plant would help speed up the process of healing. So then they started using the leaves and the roots for any types of injuries. So just an incredible story on the marshmallow plant. Okay, let me talk about the final plant that's in this tea called Melva. Now Melva has been around and documented for hundreds of years. Uh, it's really well known for helping with respiratory disorders like bronchitis, minor cases of asthma. It's also known to help with gastric and digestive disorders. Um, it also has a minor laxative in it to help you have a normal bulb moment. Um, so you guys, uh, these plants that are in this tea are remarkable. They are documented. Thousands of years of history um, are in this tea and to give you your overall health that you need on a daily basis. So now what I want to do is share with you something that has already affected over 40 million people in North America and 1 billion people worldwide and it's continuously becoming a problem even today. And here's the huge part. There's thousands and thousands of people that don't even realize that this is happening. Now, these unwanted guests that are entering our body are called parasites. Through foods that we eat like pork, beef, chicken, fish. And these parasites can live in your body for over 25 years without you even knowing it. And here's another shocking thing that I found out um, through my research about parasites is that they secrete a hormone that changes the way you think. So that way you continuously feed it what it wants, but it's going to be unhealthy for you. Okay? It can even make you do things that you don't want. These parasites are powerful and the history of parasites go back millions of years. And so that leads me to a, vi a very short video clip that I want to share with you uh, that I found on Dr. Oz. He had a special guest on, Dr. Chuckin, which will explain the relation between parasites and our health. So let me just play this for you real quick. Let's just cut to the chase. Is it really all that possible that parasites could be to blame? It is a distinct possibility. As you said, there are millions of people in the U.S. who suffer from parasites. These are actually very common, not just overseas, but right here in the U.S. The problem is that these parasites can linger undetected in the intestinal tract for years. In fact, one study found that 46% of people diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome actually had parasites responsible for the symptoms. So this is a very real problem. Digested and they set up shop right there. See right there? In your gut as you're digesting, the larvae will hatch. The, the, the worm comes out, the jaws hook into your guts like that. They attach to the intestine and they begin to prosper and grow on you. It robs you of nutrients, causes bleeding. They can grow 50 feet in length. These things will live for 25 years in our guts. And many times you won't know that you've got the problem and pass those eggs on that contaminate the rest of us until you've already passed those eggs along because you won't have any symptoms from it. Wasn't that incredible? I mean, Dr. Chuckin deals with this on a daily basis. And Dr. Oz did a really good job showing an animation and how parasites enter your body and will start feeding off of you. But what I wanted to do is just go a little bit more uh, into a visual and show you some live um, clips of real people that had live um, worms in them. And so in this first clip you'll see uh, uh, what we call whipworms. Okay? And look at them all. They're all over the place and this person doesn't even realize that she had it until she went in and get a test done for something else. Okay? And in this next clip, this person had a huge tapeworm that is just going up and down this person's intestines. I mean, you guys, this is a real problem. These are real people. Okay? Now that leads me to the final thing that I want to talk about today and that is keeping our bodies cleansed. Now imagine this, if you never change the oil in your car, what do you think will happen? Well, first you're going to start having engine problems and then eventually another problem and eventually your car is just going to shut down and die on you. 
okay? Our bodies are the same thing. If we don't help get all that gunk, that plaque that builds up from the foods and stuff that we eat and get it out of our system on a regular basis, well, we're going to also shut down and we're going to eventually have other problems and we're going to die, okay? Now, we can prevent a lot of that stuff by cleansing our body on a regular basis, all right? Getting rid of those parasites, getting rid of all that plaque from all the stuff that we eat, from the junk food that we eat. Even healthy people that eat healthy, okay, can still get parasites. They can still build up plaque in their intestines, all right? So we need to do this on a regular basis. Why? Because we eat and we drink on a regular basis.